Hello party people, I have a Costco haul for you. I just filmed a shop with me there. Did you see all the cool new things that they had? Even some Halloween stuff, it was making my heart go like this. Exciting. I spent a lot of money and I actually, like this looks like a decent amount of items. You know, usually when you go to Costco and spend a crap ton of money and you're like, oh, that doesn't look like too much. But this is a lot, so let me get into it. I'll show you everything I got. Per the usual, no real plan involved, just needed some food. Mostly snack items for back to school. By the time you see this, my kids have gone back to school. It's so crazy. Okay, I got a bunch of strawberries because these were such an amazing deal. Less than three dollars. What? For two pounds of strawberry? I couldn't believe it. It's not even strawberry season. What's happening? And they look really good. At least I think they do, I don't know. I got a ton of peaches as well, and these are super hard, which is exactly how I like them. So these will last us quite a while. There's 12 peaches there. I got a bundle of bananas, a ton of oranges. I have the baby oranges, I think from, I don't remember where I bought them, either last week or the week before. So we've been slowly going through them, but my kids enjoy the, the large oranges. So I just bought, this is a lot but they like them. Uh, bell peppers right there. I plan on, well, yeah, I could just make those with any dinner, any snack. They're just great. I got some gala apples because, oh no, look at this poor banana that just fell over. Oh, I guess it's time to make banana bread. I got two bananas in there waiting. Okay, I got some red apples and I'm loving that Costco sells. How many pounds is this? A three pound bag for like four bucks, I wanna say, I don't know. The receipt is very long, but if I'm feeling up to it, I will put the prices in the corner here. And then, of course, romaine lettuce. You can't beat the price of the romaine lettuce at Costco. It is a staple in my belly. I also got two things of vinegar, also like the best deal at Costco, vinegar and the baking soda. We're stocked up on the baking soda, but I've been going through a lot of vinegar with my laundry, so I decided to stock up on that. Also got some seaweed for the girls. They love that. We ran out of edamame because we've been eating a lot of it, and I know Eleanor's gonna want some in her lunchbox because she just loves this stuff. Some broccoli right there. I think there's four bags in here, four one pound bags, so it's a pretty decent price. I got these for Wentworth, these Go Go Blast squeezers, and they had a lot of options at Costco as far as like what kinds, what flavors, do you know what I mean? Um, these were newer and there's 16 pouches in here. They're larger than like a normal pouch, but um, I thought we'd give these a try and see how he liked them compared to like the other one. I don't know, you gotta change things up every once in a while, you know? Got some Brussels sprouts, <laughs> no change there because you guys know I'm obsessed with Brussels sprouts, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Cucumbers, it was a sad couple days. I'm not even gonna lie. I was making my salad without cucumbers because I didn't have any, can you believe it? So I ate a very sad salad. <laughs> I also, oh my gosh, these were on sale uh, for, I wanna say $10. They're normally uh, 16 and this is, ooh, grass-fed, so fancy, beef jerky. Eleanor really, not Eleanor, Avelina really likes these. Ooh, no nitrates added, bonus. She likes beef jerky, and I realized that I also like beef jerky <laughs> because last time that I bought it, I ate so much of it, and I kind of surprised myself because I thought, oh, I don't really like meat that much. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. I don't know what they do to it to make it taste so good, but I figured I would, oh, and this is a double bag, and they're eight ounce bags. So I will put some of those in her lunchbox. I think she'll be a happy camper. Plenty of protein, keep her belly full during the school day. And these, you guys were right. I bought them at my last Costco haul like a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I don't remember. I asked, I always asked you guys like, is it, are they really worth it? People rave about these like San Marzano tomatoes. Listen, I'm not a tomato girl. I could really care less, but I will say for the price, it's a great price and I just make tomato sauce with them. I grab a little can of, um, what's that called? Tomato paste with some of this and then I fill the can up with water and it makes so much tomato sauce, it's amazing. And then obviously you add like spices, but I'm real lazy so I just add Italian seasoning, spice, <laughs> whatever that's called, and then garlic powder and like a little bit of salt and pepper. 
whatever people love it we like it it's nothing fancy that's my life and i found these i i can't figure these out i don't know if it's a seasonal item or if it's an all the time item slash sometimes item because they don't have it all the time but these are the best spicy mango and jalapeno last time i bought them i think i was still like going through my morning sickness and didn't get to eat all of them so i think some of them may have gone bad i think alex did a good job of trying to finish them up um but this side is caramelized onion well you get like two packs in there it's a lot <laughs> and they're delicious so the bonus there jack's organic salsa it's been so long hello welcome back into my life you guys know i'm obsessed with this pour it on my cereal in the morning it is seriously so delicious i normally eat it with the the multi-grain like chia seed chips whatever but this time i bought the scoops because for some reason i'm just craving all of the non-nutritious food so there's that um shelled pistachios these are roasted and salted makes them even more delicious and everyone just loves these in our family and i thought that would be a good lunch item as well you know anything nutty lots of protein in there keeps their bellies full a little bit longer than you know like chips or something you know Although I did get plenty of chips, make no mistake about that. I got some of these pretzel thins. They are so good. I can't even tell you enough. I dip these in hummus, but really you can eat them plain because they're so delicious. Most of the time the kids just eat them plain. And then I found these for the first time at Costco. It's a huge bag of these Harvest Snaps. And I do enjoy that they have different flavors and actually our favorite flavor here is they're not even green pea they're like the red lentils so delicious but they this is all they had at costco so i just picked it up so hopefully my kids will eat that we'll see we're gonna find out we haven't had the green pea um snaps in or crisps in quite some time i also got some of these mini tacos i thought these would be a good after school snack slash lunch slash whatever you know what i mean they're mini tacos who doesn't like a good taco and like I told you, I loaded up on the snackage. I got some goldfish. This is not something that we normally buy, but um, Wentworth was asking for them <laughs> like on the way home from Bush Gardens yesterday. So I thought, okay, maybe he really likes them. I don't know. Maybe he just liked the Toy Story ones that I bought a couple weeks ago. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, I also got these and I thought hard about it, but not too hard because like they're snacks, you know what I mean? Who really cares? But they are, we're gonna be stocked up for a while, hopefully. 36 pouches and oh, I doubled up on the crackers. So these are goldfish and these are gold bunnies cheddar bunnies same thing in my opinion these taste better i don't know why they just do and then half of the pouches are the the bunny grams like half of them are chocolate wait i don't even know chocolate chip chocolate and honey a oh wait chocolate and honey graham crack you there's three different kinds honey chocolate chocolate chip you got it okay moving on you already saw the scoopage delicious Moving down here to the feta cheese. Oh, I ran out of this last night when I had my salad. Oh my gosh, another said I was like, I need to go to Casco. I can't go one day without it. Okay, string cheese, mozzarella. Oh my goodness. Do you see how big this is? I don't know if you can, there's 48 cheese sticks in here. And I don't typically buy cheese sticks. But this was such a good deal. I couldn't pass it up and I don't, I think Wentworth likes them. So we'll see. Parmesan cheese. My kids really like this. We found out when I had morning sickness and daddy was making dinner. <laughs> it was like noodles and cheese. And now they just dump it on everything. So that's just great for them. Also, two packs of the crepes you guys ask where i find these they're in the bakery section of my costco not every costco sells the same items trust me i know because there are some items that i see other people buy that i'm like oh man i'm so jealous so my costco is not the best but they do have these crepes if your costco doesn't carry them you can request them i bought two of them just because I wanted to stock up because I don't feel like going grocery shopping next week. And then granola bars, a whole hefty, what is that, box of those. There's like a hundred in there, but they're smaller than your average. Well, maybe not smaller. They're comparable to like the, the chewy, what brand is that? Quaker Oats. 
that's what they that's like the same comparison you know but i will say i bought a box of the cascadian farms like the high-end granola bars my kids like those so much better <laughs> Not, and even i like them so much better but the price i like those better okay and then i bought these seeds of change and this is just brown rice it is microwavable so it's like already cooked and sometimes i want to eat something on top of rice but i don't have any rice i also don't want to wait 20 minutes to make rice so <laughs> and plus brown rice takes 40 minutes to make so even better as i figured i'd have that as an option no regrets okay down here i got some chicken thighs and i recently really stocked up on our meat selection with like chicken breasts um but sometimes you just have to have a good chicken thigh and you can't beat the price at costco it's 219 for boneless skinless chicken thighs so i bought one i almost bought two just saying uh we needed some shampoo and conditioner so there's that these were actually on sale thankfully i almost got the uh kirkland brand slash almost splurged and got oh what's that high-end brand called nexus is that it is that considered high-end or am i just a cheapo anyway <laughs> moving on to the farmhouse oh these were on sale too these um breads my kid oh my gosh you know what i had as a sample at costco the frank's killer bread with some almond butter and then strawberry jam on top of it oh my gosh i wanted to run home and make some myself they like toasted the bread i've never had toasted bread with peanut butter and jam oh it was so delicious i was really surprised i went back for a second sample i said i'm hungry <laughs> oh, i basically ate a sandwich okay five dollars correct me if i'm wrong did they change the price on these are these normally i want to say they're normally like five six dollars or seven dollars i can't remember but 12 butter croissants i ate one on the way home supreme i'm like sweating i feel like i ran through that grocery haul so quickly but i have to go to the bathroom but i didn't want to like stop in the middle and then go <laughs> i'm a toddler okay thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing everything that i bought from costco it was quite a trip. I spent, I feel like all day at Costco. I need some water, I need a snack. What time is it? Not quite time to make dinner, thankfully, because I'm not ready for all that. But if you want, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.